welcome again to another uh, weekend uh, scripture reflection video. My name is Father Del Byers and I serve as a priest of the parish of St. Anne here in Toronto, Ontario. My friends, this Sunday we have some pretty troubling readings. Uh, Jesus comes across uh, rather frightening, let's put it that way. He uses quite a bit of the imagery of fire and purifying things and transforming things. And it seems like a perfect Sunday to have a hellfire and damnation sermon. But alas, that's not more, what we're going to do. Fire plays a very symbolic role within the scriptures, as it does for many of us. I don't know about you, but quite personally, I love sitting around a campfire. I love watching fire. There's something beautiful about it. Even though there's destruction, there's always new birth. If any of you have ever gone hiking through a forest, or even through Hyde Park here in Toronto, you will often see that conservationists will burn the land to help clean it of the dead wood so that there will be new life. And it's actually amazing how quickly new life is born after a fire. This is the image that I want you to hold on to as you listen to this weekend's uh, gospel. The fire that Jesus is calling upon is not necessarily a fire of um, destruction or destroying us or as sort of a fire of punishment, but it is a fire of purification, removing all that stuff from us, from our lives that prevents us from fully loving God and fully loving each other. It's just very much the same way as a conservationist uh, burns the field or the bed of a forest. By doing so, he gives life to the forest. And the same is so with us. When there's a purification of us, God helps us to become more fully who we are called to be in God. Now, of course, this is not necessarily a literal fire. In fact, most of us will never experience that. But what it is, is that fire of of struggle and trial and tribulation in our lives that oftentimes when we feel like we're getting so close to God when everything seems to be working out so well then suddenly in those moments we find that we're unclear we're uncertain um, we're struggling we can't figure out what's going on well those are the moments when God is as the Old Testament says God is like the potter and he's shaping us he's forming us and perhaps he's even removing certain things from us so that we can be more aligned with God's will. Again, I see this as a priest. Oftentimes in my ministry, I feel like I put a lot of energy and effort into things. And then in the end of the day, I feel like, well, nothing's really happening. And I'll get frustrated and I'll question, why am I even doing this? But over time, as I reflect, I see those trials, those struggles. Those are the moments when God is trying to remove from me my own pride, my own ego, uh, to remove from me those things that maybe prevent me from fully loving God and fully loving neighbor. So in a sense, this trial and tribulation is actually not a bad thing. Again, keep the image of the fire and the forest. A controlled fire often can give new life, but that's a difficult time. A lot of creatures will struggle. A lot of trees will be burned. But in the long run, they will emerge fully anew and abundantly. And you will even see very shortly after a fire, new flowers coming up from the earth. Well, that's what God is trying to do with us, to purify us, to radiate us, so new life can be born in us. My friends, as always, I invite you to join us for worship this Sunday. Join us at 10.30 a.m. It would be a delight to see you. I would love to see you there on Sunday. Come share a little fellowship with us. Come meet with us. Come pray with us. And just get to know the wonderful community that is St. Anne's. My friends, you're always welcome to St. Anne's, and I can't wait to see you. May God bless you. May God keep you. And may God let his face shine upon you always. God bless. Mm -hmm.